In this video, using LabVIEW, we are going to design a feed forward screening system. Uh, you can see in this picture how a feed forward screening system works. Uh, there is an incoming stock flow. Uh, this is the this is this, the first screen. The this is the accepted line. Actually, when it uh, some actually part of the stock is accepted and the rejected uh, stock will go to a second screen again if it is uh, uh, the accepted part it go, uh, uh, the accepted part um, uh, part of the stock goes back to the, um, the total accepted line and the rejected part goes to a third screen Again, in the third screen, it will be divided in two parts. The accepted part goes back to the main accept line, and the rejected line actually uh, direct the stock to the final reject line. And uh, this is the final reject, means part of the stock is. Uh, dismissed, re is totally rejected. In this design, we assume that, actually, uh, let's uh, first, uh, I have to say to, uh, the, this, um, two properties of a screen are important. First is the reject rate, shown by R, and uh, the second, uh, important parameter is a weakening factor. The, we assume that the reject rate for all these uh, screens in this system that we are going to design is 15%, and the weakening factor is I, uh, uh, sorry, one uh, comma one comma twelve, as shown here. Uh, we assume also the inlet consistency is 5% and for the flow in, uh, in fact we are going to put a control uh, in order to be able to adjust the flow rate. And yeah, let's show you how the final design look like looks like the final design is uh, should be something like this you see um, we want to have a control here stock in that flow stock in that flow um, it's a, a variable we can adjust it between 0 and 2000 uh, this is the screening system, screen 1, screen 2, screen 3. We want uh, also to have indicators on each line as shown here, inlet consistency, inlet flow. Inlet flow is adjusted with this and, in, um, and is shown here. And also indicators on each line, on the reject line. RL means is reject line, mass rate kilogram per second, reject line flow rate, reject line consistency, AL uh, means accepted line, as shown here, mass, flow, and consistency. And we have all these indicators for all the lines. And also total accepted consistency and total exit flow rate. The final reject line, uh, actually mass rate, flow rate, and consistency. Uh, um, in this video, I'm not going to uh, to make this program. Uh, uh, um, I want to just show the solution because I think it's not necessary to uh, because uh, necessary to show everything for making this program. If I um, show you the principles and also some points about uh, making this program, I think it's, uh, it is unnecessary to uh, 
uh, uh, to unnecessary to actually to make a complete program it's wasting time okay before showing you the solution I have to let's also show you the problem uh, you can also read it here design a feed forward screening system with three screens so that the inlet flow can be controlled with a knob uh, can be controlled with a knob the flow rate, solid content, consistency of both accepted lines and rejected lines should be shown on the front panel. Besides, the inlet flow rate and consistency should be displayed. Assume that as each kilogram of solids passes through the rejection line, this amount of debris stick to the screen and sediment there. Use an indicator to show the sedimentation of debris. Okay, you can read the rest. With this indicator, uh, we want to show you, uh, in fact, the deterioration of uh, the screens. Because, you know, um, after some time, um, we need to change the screen. This indicator, um, in fact, shows us when to change the screen. With this assumption, we say we, uh, we say uh, 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 for each kilogram of the solid pass through the reject, uh, rejected line, very small amount of it sticks to the uh, uh, stick to the screen and in fact uh, uh, stuck the pores of the screen and. Uh, uh, of course, because of that, we need to change the screen after some time. Okay. Um, you should be familiar with these formulas or concepts of the, uh, of the screening system in order to uh, be able to make this program. These are very simple uh, equations. If you're familiar with uh, mass balance, uh, these are, uh, in fact, uh, pretty obvious uh, equations. Yeah, uh, it means uh, inlet mass is equal to accepted mass plus the rejected mass. To more uh, to for more explanation, our uh, reject rate is defined by dividing the reject mass by inlet mass thickening factor is defined as uh, this formula consistency of the reject line divided by consistency of the inlet stock and you, know, you uh, better also see this picture this is the inlet stock solids water this is the reject line and this is the accepted line and of course a stands for accept and index r stands for reject yeah c also stands for consistency and mass <laughs> and so on this will be the solution uh, yeah, as you see here, the rejection rate and thickening factor are the same for all the screens. Uh, the, the total flow rate and the total accepted uh, mass is in fact the sum of these, the output of these three screens. Except that part, of course. I think. And also, the total consistency is defined as the total accepted mass divided by uh, the total accepted uh, flow rate. Let's say the total accepted mass rate divided by tel uh, total accepted flow rate it is uh, more exact. Okay. Uh, uh, there are some few points you need to know. For example, here in this, uh, I, first of all, I use the 
formula node uh, sorry uh, I use the while loop here and I put a wait function here to make everything a little more slower and also um, uh, put a display for the time and I put um, um, actually uh, in this uh, wait function I put 1000 milliseconds it means each loop iteration lasts one second know that I also you know for a while loop there is an I here showing the iteration number I actually I move it to here just know it this is this I is in fact the I of the loop in this formula node uh, let me show you something um, better uh, to have a look on uh, formula node um, syntax yeah you can find it from here oh, sorry yeah from the node help yeah I think you already saw this page uh, in the earlier videos formula note syntax I go there please have a look on this page and um, get yourself familiar with all these commands here in this program I needed to um, define the title uh, the type of my variable am I I needed to define that my accepted uh, actually my inlet mass and also my deterioration variable uh, 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 I have to define these two variables as a floating point uh, let's say variable I, I define them uh, like this float 32 and I and semicolon and floating point is uh, uh, actually is a variable that has a decimal part and if I put something else here for example indicator you can see formula 6 uh, for different type of variable yeah, variable declaration yeah uh, if we uh, you can also uh, define other types of variables for example int means integer integer uh, integer doesn't have any decimal part like two, three, or I don't know seven. But uh, a floating point uh, is something like, for example, three point fourteen. You have a decimal part. Uh, 